That heat is not a, <clears throat> not a joke in the room. It's gonna it's gonna get warmer too. No, I provided you two different what, vehicles to taste hot sauce today. You're using one of them as a camera prop currently, but is the, what is the pen the other one? Oh, no. why a pizza cutter? I literally like reached in to grab a spoon and I was like, you know what? I'll give him a pizza cutter too. You never know. Okay, I'm gonna keep using this as a tripod. You can use this as a tripod. Okay, so today we are trying sauce from not to saw hot sauce. We're trying hot sauce from Gindos today. You I actually love, had. I love Gindos. This is why you're here. This is why I asked you to do this video. Or. Nobody else was was available. No, I specifically am doing this video because I know that you've had Gindos and you like Gindos. Well, I, I, I'm honored. All right, so this one is one that I'm specifically excited to try. No, it's not a Tinky. It's not a Tinky. <laughs> one's called Blazin' Burrito? Yes, dude. I looked at the monitor. I know. Well, how do you say that word? Uh... Uh, Ocado. Okay. Right? Yeah. Like a walkin? A walkin, yeah, I think it's a coddle. A coddle? A coddle Mayan hot chocolate. Okay. Wow. And then we I'm have doing it last? You were doing it last. And then we got barrel aged blazon burrito. This is um it's got it's they 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 partnered with Riverlands Brewing Company. This has got like some sort of stout in it. Oh, every, I don't care. It says blazon burrito on it. It's gonna be great. Exactly. And then we've got bacon jam. So this has got bacon salt in it. Okay, so this has got I think it's bacon salt. It's got bacon in it. That's dude, that's that's like Bacon jam to me, it's like it's like getting good news and then finding out it's actually bad news. <laughs> what do you mean? Like it's like it's like hey, uh, you get an hour. Like say you're back in high school when like snow days were the best thing in the world. It's like hey, you get to sleep in an hour later. It's like oh, amazing, but you have to stay three hours later at school. That's that's how I feel. Where do you want to start, I, dude? I don't I don't ever want to eat a hot chocolate hot sauce. We can't. We have to. Do we have to do this last? We can do it first. I can direct this? Yeah, you can, you're, dude, you're the guest. Let's get the chocolate out of the way, then. Dude, this is going to be great. This is what I'm most excited about. It probably will be. It's a medium heat. It, uh, all right, inspired by Mayan, cho Mayan hot chocolate drink. This sauce is rich with notes of chilies, cinnamon, and espresso. Dang, dang it! I just added another word that I don't want in a hot sauce. Espresso? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I know. So I like to. I, I also like to challenge Andy with flavor profiles. I yeah. am extremely excited about but this. But it does leave me room to to like things if I walk in with thinking I'm not gonna. Like Andy it. also likes to make fun of my love for um, for mole because I always talk about mole. No, I, I mean, you do like it. I don't make fun of it. I don't. I don't have anything against you liking mole. I just had your mole with my eggs for lunch today. That's an odd flavor combination. It is, good. and I knew going into it, 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 it worked out. It was That's all right. great. It was all right. I want. I need to use it up. <laughs> the Sorry, I got a lot of energy. I'm, I need to stop talking. Dude, the okay, the first ingredient is grown-up kid stuff chocolate syrup. <laughs> Which is pure cane sugar, water, co cacao, uh, processed with alkali, sea salt, uh, coffee, chipotle pepper, cocoa powder, cinnamon, chili, uh, cinnamon, chili powder, and vinegar. Dude, I'm eating. For 30 days, I mean nothing but like Whole Foods and healthy stuff. Minus, minus date night. Minus this little bit of sauce that minus, you're about to eat right what now, you doing apparently. Today? This smells like liquid chocolate syrup. Our names. Did you, no, see, it wasn't oh even. Oh my god. Wait, is this? Is this? It looks like chocolate syrup. I think it's literally. Cho I think it's like it's basically chocolate syrup. So, okay, the one where I see this having a place is if you wanted spicy ice cream, which might sound weird to some people. I think that sounds awesome. Yeah, I mean that's. I mean dessert sauces are. Yeah. The, um, I don't know what I would use this on other than the the obvious cheesecake, desserts, breakfast. Pastries, mm. clearly, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know if I want a spicy but, breakfast pastry. I want spicy everything. Cheers. Bang, bang, rang, Peter. It is it's literally chocolate syrup. Yeah, and the spice isn't really huge, but it's, it's nice. I, the medium is a stretch on this. I would call this extraordinarily mild, in my opinion. I would call it, extra, I would call it a little too mild, like the like a little too rough. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, uh, this is basically chocolate syrup to me. Um, it, it is, that's what it is. Yes. It's a spicy chocolate syrup with a, a hint of vinegar on the back end of it. It's a feisty chocolate syrup. That's a good word for it. Yeah. Um, I love this. Immediately, this is going it, on ice cream. Immediately. I will say though, it is absolutely delicious and in the right place, it is a glorious thing. Dessert, 100%. Um, I, I would guess, actually. I, I, I guess you could make a hot chocolate with this, like a chocolate milk, a hot chocolate. Like I guess you got. I, I would like literally yeah, try to do that. I could do a, a spicy hot chocolate. Like I want to put this in. I'm gonna like I'm gonna put this in a latte tomorrow morning and see how that works out. That'd be cool. And and if I did do a spicy hot chocolate, I would want it to be subtly spicy. I wouldn't want to like be at the freaking festival of lights, looking at Christmas lights, and like be drinking something hot and my mouth be hot. I don't like. Um, I have. A, so there's a lot of like uh, like. 
like hot, like spicy coffee exists, okay? Mm -hmm. I like the spicy coffee, but I don't like it hot, I like it cold. So you take yes. this and you make it cold, I agree. it's a lot better because physically hot and then spicy, mm -hmm. that does not mix to me. Uh, I could definitely do an, a, a, so like, like a spicy iced coffee. If you coffee. make it spicy iced, because this is like warming spices, like cinnamon, things mm -hmm. like that. Like that's the realm. I've never had a sauce anywhere near like this. It's literally like chocolate syrup. Yeah. It's like we're pushing the boundaries of hot sauce even with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, it's. I mean, it's very, very cool. Okay, do you want burrito time or do you want bacon time? Bacon time. You're just here for the burrito. This is so weird. This is like you went out to go, like I know, like get school supplies, and you came back with a puppy. I know. Like, like the the, the variety of sauces yeah. here are crazy. Um, okay, so this is. I think I, I read the ingredients before. This got bacon salt, I believe, in here. All right, fresh habanero. Peppers with the smoky deliciousness of bacon and brown sugar make this uh, smoky sauce smoky, sweet, and fiery in all the right places. Use in use in mole sauce. Serve with ice cream. Mix in with mix with milk or water for a spicy hot chocolate. You can literally do that. It does. That one had a consistency that like is if it like, aspired to be mole. Uh, it's got a consistency. Okay, I'm gonna mean this in the, in the or I take it in the in the best way possible. This aspires to be bad mole in a way. Like bad mole just tastes like chocolate syrup. Good mole ta tastes not like chocolate syrup. I trust So you. you would use this ingredient as an ingredient in a great mole, not as a mole. Like you sure. want good chocolate, so that I, that is a good thing, not a negative. All right, uh, they're saying pretzels and cheese, burgers, grilled cheese, pork chops, and mashed potatoes for this. Sure, yeah. Bacon jam. Ingredients are red bell peppers, distilled vinegar, water, habanero peppers, ketchup, sea salt, brown sugar, molasses, organic cane sugar, bacon salt, a lot of parentheses going on there. Garlic, ground coffee, you're hyped. Uh, ground peppercorn, xanthan gum, hickory smoke, flavor, and spices. And spices. Oh, those. What kind of spices? Right. I always yeah. say that. Because yeah. the, the spices the are so... The point of ingredients is saying what's in it. Well, the, the, the spice is so low on the on the list, they don't it. need they to don't list. They don't legally have to. But why? But it's like they're adding like and things at the end of it. They could do that, right? They, no, I, they have to say spices, I think. Oh, okay. But a lot of what's times... the heat on this? Oh, I don't know. Medium. 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 So that, this was also medium. So. All right. Dude, with the metal spoon, it just looks like I'm doing drugs, Brian. I, you, no, it doesn't. It looks a little druggy. It does not. I don't know what your drugs you're using I've look like hot sauce. I've Breaking Bad. And it looks like hot sauce on a spoon? And I'm just saying the metal spoon, someone someone possibly thinks the same way. I disagree with you. It smells like red bell peppers. Cheers. It's so good. That is so good, and it's like a tomato soup. Yeah, there's no okay. jam involved. Dude, the heat's actually good. It's a great heat. That's it's actually, awesome heat. It's actually more mild than I thought it was going to be. Like, the habanero oh, really? is habanero is pretty high on the list. It's like third on the list. I'm like, ooh, this is going to be pretty habanero up front. Um, this is delicious. Um, I actually taste the habanero. I don't taste anything jammy. Oh, yeah, I think it's just the name. Like, there is ketchup, and then there is, like, brown sugar and molasses in there, so I think yeah. that's where they're getting, like, it's, like, I the would... consistency, but, like... That's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm not getting a lot of jamminess. I would take that baby home with me. It, I can have it? Yeah. Actually, realistically, I'm just gonna put it in my office and eat it there. That's great. But, yes, that is, so good. that is a delicious sauce. Um, I taste the habanero, but I'm not getting as much of a habanero hit as I thought I was going to. It's it's very, like, delayed, which is probably typical with that with the habanero. No, it's not, actually. Oh, really? Well, so, like, you you, you put it in your mouth, it's delicious, and then one second later, the peppers are like, we're here! So where is it? Where's the pepper, where is the pepper hitting you? Back of tongue. Back of tongue? So mine's back of the throat, I think. Well, so if I'm getting this right, and uh, the fine people at Gindos, please let me know if I am. I think they're using the red Savina habanero, and that hits differently than a regular habanero, yeah. like a Caribbean habanero, and that's so instead of the tongue, it hits back a throat. So I think it's the red Savina, which is the so one is I that prefer. Why it, to me, my brain was like a delayed. Yes, because like the flavors were all in the tongue. Yeah, it's a different version of the. It's a different varietal of the habanero, and I actually oh, wow. I've learned that I like that varietal. I um, love that varietal. Because it was delicious. You making fun of words here? I'm, I'm sure it was right word. Okay, this is a crazy sauce because it has an ingredient in here that I've only had one time in a sauce, but I've never had it mixed with hotter peppers in a sauce. And Shamrocks. You, no, I'll tell you. So and you can tell me if you know what this, what this pepper is. Okay, so I, no. Okay, so it's it's in the, the description too. So it says a hot sauce made with habanada peppers. Oh. Carolina Reaper peppers, scorpion peppers, and barrel aged secret burrito imperial stout brewed by Riverlands Brewing Company. Do you know what a habanada so, is? Okay, this is my hypothesis. Or a hypothesis, mm -hmm. whatever you say. Um, you know what, like a pepper do? I, I, I know what a pepper do. Those little baby, those little baby sure. peppers, they're awesome. I yeah. love them. I feel like the habanada is like the pepper do version of a habanero. A habanada is a habanero pepper that has been grown with no heat. 
It's that, got zero oh, heat. Habanada. Yes. So the but they're mixing That's, reapers, scorpion peppers, and habanadas. So you're gonna get the flavor of the habanero, but zero heat from it. Okay. Really weird. Uh, that could be cool. There is um, a sauce made by White House Station Hot Sauce Company. They use a habanada in their sauces too. This is my second time I've ever used seen it. They also make a um, uh, a jalapeno with that flavor too, with it, in that style too. I can't remember what it's called. All you have to do is go to the grocery store at the right time, and you already get you're jala not, habanadas. You're not, you're not, you're not wrong. Dude, there sometimes or jalapenos are like habaneros, and sometimes they're like cucumbers. You can tell by looking at them. Really? You need, yeah. to, you need to educate me on this. Uh, and you see like a bunch of striations, like you see like like they like white things hanging up, like on down the side of them. That means mm -hmm. that the peppers are generally hotter because they. Um, the, the pepper plant was underwatered, and so it sends all the nutrients to the, the pepper to try to, like, save the fruit, basically. Yeah. And it, like, stretches the skin. It'll burst the skin. And so that generally means it's a little bit hotter. <clears throat> okay. You have to show me a picture next time you, you get you buy one. I will. I'll show you one. Okay. So the ingredients are red bell peppers, distilled vinegar, water, habanada peppers, Riverlands Barrel Aged Secret Burrito Imperial Stout, Carolina Reaper peppers, scorpion peppers, Himalayan salt, organic cane sugar, cocoa powder, Sunflower seeds, sunflower seeds, yeah. Uh, raisins, green onions, cilantro, ancho chilies, ground peppercorns, xanthan gum, cumin, and coriander. This okay. contains wheat. You haven't seen Hot Rod, you can't make that joke. This smells very interesting. Again, I get like red bell peppers and then something else. Have you ever, when you do the slide thing, like nope. messed up? Never, not once? It's probably not coming, but I. It'd be great. We've talked about it many times. It's either gone off the table or like fallen over. It hasn't happened. I don't think it'll ever go off the table. That'd be great. It, I don't think it's fallen over yet. This is called Blazing Burrito. Blazing Burrito. This has to be the best sauce ever. Uh, what is it hot? I don't know, but it's got yes, it should be. So this is not. Oh, it is by Gendo's. Yeah. It doesn't say. It doesn't have a heat level on it. This is like collaboration sauce, but it's got scorpion peppers and reapers in it. Okay, so so it fine. has it has it should have a good amount of heat. I'll go with my Andy baby amount. Oh That's look, it. call Walter White. Shut up. Okay. Agreed. Ooh, that just like flopped on the spoon. Um, a lot of texture. Like literally, like yeah. something literally flopped out of the bottle onto my spoon. It looks like good tomato soup. It looks like good hot sauce. Says the guy holding a spoon. Yeah. A soup spoon. Cheers. Lots of texture. Lots of that. Um, I think that's stout. Wow. It's like um, Ooh. it's like malty. It's very malty. Very. So that's a good word for it. Lots of the uh, the uh, stout flavors going on in here. That heat is not a, not a joking around. It's gonna it's gonna get warmer too. I was gonna say it's intimidating because as it hits, it's I was like I don't think I've seen this guy's face yet. No, it's it's it, this is gonna take a solid like Orgasm. thirty to forty five seconds to to really ramp up. I'm sweating. Um, great heat level. I love the way this is burning. Very malty. You can a lot of the like the beer aspects in this sauce. Sweetness from the bread bell peppers. All of these sauces, not this one clearly, but these last two, a lot of red bell pepper flavors to it. Um, jam. Subtle sweetness. Yeah. Like, uh, kind of real, like, delicious. Rustic. Is that a word to describe hot sauce? Rustic? Sure. That's what you, I, you can do that. Yeah, I'm probably, that. whatever you're saying is malty. That's probably what the same thing. Like, this has that, got, like, like, earthy, robust flavors. I, I, I put this in, like, the, like, table sauce category where, like, you can put it on everything. You know, like, I, this is a it's general. It's hot. It's hot. But I think it was a general purpose like flavor profile sure, where you yeah. could like use it. It has lots of applications. Yeah. But you, it will work on most most foods that you would be putting hot sauce on, including burritos. Yes, and definitely including burritos. I don't know if it's a, a sauce worthy of that name though. Of and that's just blazing, a personal blazing thing. burrito. Yeah, that's like the greatest name for a hot sauce. I think it's because like okay okay so the name of the the beer that's in here is just called Barrel Age Secret Burrito okay it's just so it's a, it's a hybrid name or yeah so so the Blazin is the Reapers and the Scorpion Peppers in here and the Burrito is the place with so like yeah it is not Although necessarily the heat a, lives up to the, the name yeah and I mean it's not necessarily a taco sauce or like a Mexican inspired sauce even though it has a lot of those flavor profiles mm -hmm. in it but I think it has those applications plus many more yeah um I, but I think you're right it's a very good general sauce okay so for but, these. For these three, what would you okay, would you say the heat level on these are both like a one to no, a point five? Okay, this is yeah, this is probably a one, and this is probably a two, two and a half. What three. is the heat? What do you put the heat scale? I don't know. We put the heat scale on this one. This went away fast. I would do this three for sure. So like maybe one, two, three. One, two, three heat yeah. scale. I or say, maybe I don't. Yeah, probably because I'm not beat up by it. Yeah, I'd say I'd call this like le like one is being generous, less yeah. than a one. This is a one, and this is a two on my heat scale. Okay, so sorry. 
I'm not trying to. I'm not trying one every time. I'm not trying to do it like that. It's fine. Uh, which is your favorite? Uh, definitely this. I, I feel like this would have tasted a little better if I would have like maybe eaten it off of a pizza cutter. Oh, well, you, I mean, you could have. I, yeah, I had I, the option. I, I gave you the option. Uh, too. No, this is definitely the best by far. I, I would, I would use this happily too. Mm -hmm. um, but this is like, this had, this had what I need. I cannot wait to put this in coffee, which sounds yeah. super weird. But I'm gonna make a latte with it tomorrow morning. Um, Are you gonna punch to a clip of you eating it? I, I could. You probably should. It'd make the video better. Let's see how it works out. Uh, in the description below is gonna be linked to two things. There's gonna be linked to Gindos. Um, this is like an experimental sauce, and you knocked it out of the ballpark. I am super excited about this sauce. I have never had a sauce like this in my life, but everything that I've, I've never had a bad sauce from Gindos. I will say this is the most impressive sauce. Sure. My favorite. My, my favorite. Very good. Most impressive. Sure, I like it. Um, they are putting out new sauces constantly. I don't even want to know how many sauces are in the rotation or how many they put out a year. It is crazy. Also, as a they customer, put out. and I don't, I didn't get paid to do this in any sense. So, uh, I will say as a customer that I fell in love with one of their sauces, and it was hard to find. So, if you do think you like one of these, like. Get it while I can because they don't go back to old sauces all the time. They were in my hot sauce subscription last year, yeah. and I had to basically reserve the sauce because it used a particular kind of garlic, and that's why I wanted to use yeah. it. So we had to time the subscription box around when the sauce was going to be released, yeah, which is to cool. make it happen. Like I love this hot sauce company. Yeah, they're very they do not disappoint. So they're going to be in the description. Um, I recommend that you pick these up. Uh, I don't say that all the time, but these are definitely amazing sauces. Also, a link to Taco Game Time, our video game channel that we we do. Um, us, us together. Okay, I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.